Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having part 4 of the Skibi uh, Total War campaign in Rome Total War Remastered and the Total War means that we must declare war against everyone as soon as possible. And at the moment we are besieging Thessalonica and it should fall rather soon. At the same time Greeks are besieging Athens and then we are having some issues here in northern Africa. But I think there is nothing we couldn't overcome. So without further ado, let's finish the turn. And see what happens. Seems the pretty I were No, we are not going to have peace. So it seems the, the pretty I managed to capture Segestica. Yeah. Okay. And this city will fall in one turn. And these guys are fortunately making siege equipment. I think we should train some extra troops so that we can reinforce when we are capturing those two places there. And then we want to drive the Carthaginians out from this area permanently. And that has been accomplished. Let's see, so here I think we could demolish this one and build a shrine to Neptune instead. Will the roads actually? Well, they will bring some additional money, but not too much. And that Gaul army looks like it will attack. So let's wait a bit before moving out because defensive battles are so much easier. And can we do still some investments somewhere? Perhaps sewers in Carthage be beneficial and land clearance in Lepsis Magna. And Thessalonica is ours. Good. And it seems that Julia uh, beat the army of the Gauls. So rather decent army this time from the Greeks. And they still seem to have a third army in reserve. So we managed to practically wipe out the first Greek army they used this time to besiege Athens. I'm a bit concerned that there will be a third siege, but... Perhaps the next army isn't as high quality as this, so we should be able to hold rather okay. So let's hope we can burn both of these. Or perhaps, okay, the battering ram is going down, but apparently the siege tower is not. So 
So some hoplites, mercenary hoplites, militia hoplites, Christian archers, mercenary peltasts, militia cavalry, and faction leaders, bodyguard. Don't go that way. Hmm. That's sad. Well, fortunately, the tower here managed to get quite a few shots off and thus quite a few ski uh, kills. And every member of bodyguard taken down. It's a really nice thing. Oh, and the bodyguard is actually going this way. So it's likely that they will suffer quite a lot more casualties before reaching us. Oh, well, apparently not so much more. So those are Christian archers, mercenary peltasts. I think it might be wise to charge. So if we can route both the militia cavalry and the Christian archers, I think the Beltasts should follow rather soon. They're not. So, I guess. Okay. So much for that. Spears or Pila rather fast, please. to wipe out all of our okay those hoplites are breaking Additional hot plates incoming. And I think the mercenary hot plates should break soonish. They're actually holding quite well. Surprisingly well. We still have the Greece and archers to deal with and some militia hoplites. Ok, 
Okay. The militia hoplites did break. And that was a bit too close, but victory nonetheless. I think I want to make sure that those Crescent archers are not coming back. Okay. So... Defending the city with 200 might be a feat. So I made a mistake by charging out with the cavalry. And perhaps other mistake was to engage with our cavalry, the enemy bodyguard. Oh, that's fortunately a rather small army. So the other, other mistake was to engage the enemy bodyguard with light cavalry and that didn't didn't end too well i guess this city will be besieged rather soon And I think from Patavium we can send an army to besiege Mediolanum. And let's see about Thessalonica. I think Shrine to Saturn. And these buildings will be what we need. Let's combine troops a bit. Perhaps those guys can hold this for now. Principe is there, but now Larissa needs to be recaptured. The garrison there is quite small. Then again, so is the enemy army besieging the city. Okay, so the situation in Greece is under control, also should be north, and here we should be ready to move out rather soon. Here we can make paved roads, here a trade, perhaps paved roads there as well. Here, I guess Sipright will bring quite nicely additional money. In Sparta, we could build Sipright. And in Athens, I think Pave Roads will be a good investment rather soon. So, let's finish the turn and start gathering troops so we can conquer, uh, continue our conquest of Northern Africa. And from here I think we will take these units, so they will join the army there. And actually the roads of Athens can wait a bit, 
so that we can retrain these and make some extra troops in Carthage. some Egyptians soon. Oh, and it seems the Gauls are bringing in reinforcements. And where is this guy in Capua? Of course. I think he will be sent to the Perhaps to the African front, actually. And we will take at least the mercenaries and most of the heavy infantry. Of course. That leaves Carthage somewhat open, but risks must be taken from time to time. And of course we have the general coming in from here, so he should be able to give a hand if needed. Let's see if we could send a force from Athens already towards Themon. I think we should be in a position to capture that city rather easily as well. Can even raise taxes a bit and I think the mines here should bring decent enough income in Corinth. I don't think we should build anything nor in Sparta. And here in the north, capturing this city would actually be really beneficial. Because now they don't have the reinforcements that they, they will have soon and actually some of these troops are really experienced. So if we manage to wipe them out quickly it will be very beneficial for us. Fortunately, it seems the enemy army consists mostly of war bands. So they should be easier units to take care of.
Okay, so that is breaking. Those are breaking. Okay, excellent. And it seems the enemy situation here is becoming more dire every moment. Interesting choice. And let's give them a bit of a time to rest. And then let's charge. Okay, perhaps a bit more casualties than would have been necessary, but at least the town is ours. Hmm. Perhaps extermination wasn't the best idea here. So, I think we can retrain at least some of the troops here, but at the same time I think we need to send some to Patavium to be retrained. That should keep the populace here happy enough. So we can even raise taxis a bit. And there the taxis can be raised as well. And I think we have a turn. Capturing roads will be quite important at some point because I like the, uh, the effect that the Colossus has on maritime trade. So 
So, we are actually quite popular with the Senate, not so much with masses just yet, which actually is a good thing, because otherwise uh, we would be forced into the civil war a bit sooner than we would like. So, I think this army can um, march northwards to take care of the rest of the Byzantines and then attack Thracians. And we need to make some new troops here in southern Greece. Will that actually bring us? Okay, some money, not too much, but. Better than nothing. So they need to take Kaidonia and Rhodes as well. And perhaps we could send this unit away as well. And what's wrong with these guys? So culture penalty mainly, apparently. Some mercenaries available, good. We will recruit them next turn. And here... I think we need to strengthen our defenses overall. And perhaps that means we need to send some units back to Patavium. Do we actually have some mercenaries available here? Yes, we do. Cavalry mercenaries, I think we need to take them. Oh, and I think we should recruit some more units there. And we have a turn. Okay. The first position. Actually, that's four almost full armies of Gauls. That's quite a lot. So let's get the new family member to Carthage. And we can finally besiege Serta or Kirta, however it's supposed to be pronounced. And let's take all the mercenaries we can. So only desert infantry. They should be a bit better than Eastern infantry, but I don't think they are too much better. And here the troop production should continue. And perhaps here Themon might fall. There are two bodyguards. That's quite a lot. So let's send in some mercenaries to aid. And I think this should be enough for auto-resolve. No, we don't want to view the settlement. Let's retrain the troops and then next turn I think we can send most of them back. And here we need to leave a garrison here. Let's leave at least those that need retraining. But I think the most of the army can be brought to Thessalonica. 
and the public order is decent enough. Is that fleet actually carrying an army? Yes, it is. So, we need to move swiftly. And basically it means these troops and whatever we can spare from Corinth. And apparently that's not too much. Okay, so we need to wait for next turn. And let's make some additional buildings as we do have money at the moment. At least some. I don't really like those land clearances even because they make the cities grow quite fast. And if they grow fast enough, I will end up having problems with maintaining public order. I guess trader there will be good enough. A merchant here, is he having a plague? Luckily not. Mm. I guess we can bring him in to trade timber or something else. That's close enough. Mm. Actually, we don't want to help. Let the Julii fight. Even though they actually helped us when we were besieged. And now it seems Armenia is taking quite some time. Okay. I was afraid that the game crashed, but apparently it didn't. So the Numidians are attacking from Serta or Kirta. Mm. I think that's rather good, because they don't have missile units, whereas we do, and they come out from the gates a bit by bit. We should be in rather a strong position here. And I think we need to attack the enemy general with our cavalry. So let's get into position. Okay, the dogs of war have been slipped. Oh, 
That's what you get for concentrating some war dogs a bit too much. So I guess we can take off the guard mode. And let's bring in the general to aid in the battle here. Okay. So what enemies there still are? Okay, one unit of desert infantry, basically. And that's it. victory. Perhaps once again as not as clean as it could have been, but victory nonetheless. new family member in Kapua and we have new adopted family member in Carthage. Nice. He's a commander while that one is more of a manager. I think we can send this guy to uh, Thapsus. And I think we can raise taxis a bit there. Let's see about Kirta. Oh, quite a decent city actually. So, let's make some buildings there, and I think that city in the south, there should be our next target. So I guess there are two, three cities in Northern Africa, still that we need to capture. I guess there is one, two, and... The third one is there. And about which troops to take? Perhaps this will be a large enough garrison here. And actually we can make some archers. That's cool. Here in the north, we can at least retrain these guys, and let's hope the garrisons there will be enough, and perhaps the Romans will help us. And from Thermon, I think we can bring most of the army away. Perhaps a Hastati. And a group of Velites will be enough. And can we land in Kaidonia? Almost. Hmm. I'm afraid that this ship will go down. Well, so much for that fleet and for that army. So 
so I guess we need to be a bit more cautious next time. And then we have Macedonian army and Pulatsora at our sites. Let's take veterans instead of the new recruits. And some extra troops will be most beneficial. And here let's make market. Sewers. Large Temple of Neptune. Sewers. And I think we are doing well enough. So, I guess this is everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you wish to be notified whenever a new video is released, remember to turn on the notifications. Feel free to uh, ask questions, post other comments, uh, give advice and so on. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Games out.